Hey guys, this is Drake, and we have Andrew here, our lighting designer and director for Bethel Production. And we want to talk about our stage setup for Christmas. Um, we always try to go and change the set to Christmas during Thanksgiving, so that way you come back from Thanksgiving and it looks like Christmas. So here we are, Christmas set is complete, and we wanted to ask Andrew some questions about the mm -hmm. design and kind of the inspiration behind it and mm -hmm. how we do it. I know we typically, always like to have a big LED wall for mm -hmm. content with big words and text and things. Yeah. And then we always like to have trees. Um, so Those where do we go two, from there? Two main things that we have always, a lot of trees and a big, bigger wall upstage mm -hmm. center just to kind of be the main backdrop. Um, and then I think the next part I went to, um, I had the idea for this lid. Um, I wanted to create this kind of like ring or strips of our 4.8 tiles, um, but also use these row strips um, in between to kind of create texture inside of those strips. So that was kind of my idea. Um, and then I had the idea next of having the row strips in within the trees on the floor to kind of create texture within the trees mm -hmm. that matched with the content. Um, so what are the row strips specifically? Row strips are um, row visual LED um, they're two pixel uh, wide LED strips, just like an LED tile, but just a strip. Um, so we have those guys um, up in the lid and then on the floor in the trees. Got and then you control those with Resolume still. Yes. So it's actually taking an uh, image of the content or a part of the content and putting mm -hmm. it on the strips. Uh, it's a little lower resolution because it is only two pixels wide. Uh, so it just adds more texture instead of being like an image. Yeah. Um, so how many trees do we have on the stage here? We have probably close to 40, maybe more. Um, I feel like we keep getting more and more every year. So <laughs> We always like to top it off with a little bit of fake snow. I think it just adds to the Christmas look mm -hmm. is having snow. Snow, um, and it is reflective with the image the images and the lights that are on yeah, the Yeah, it makes well. the trees stand out a little bit more yeah. having the white on the trees. Yes. Uh, what LED product are we using here? We're using Uni Unilumen 4.8 outdoor tiles um, and then the row strips and that's it for LED. And then we have uh, GLP X4 washes and Chevet R2 washes. For our lights. For our lights. Mm -hmm. And we get this question a lot so we might as well answer it for key light. What are we using for key light? We're using Chevet RT washes for vocals um, because it gives us the flexibility of them moving around mm -hmm. um, and uh, color temperature. And sometimes we do colored key for certain you know, songs or um, events or something. Right. Um, but we still use PARS and Linkos for our main speaker wash. So how do you usually go about designing uh, a set like this? What's your typical process? Um, I usually do kind of start with the main wall and then I kind of have this idea, like this kind of creative idea, which for me on this set was the lid, um, and then kind of go from there. So I kind of always tend to have like a solid like LED wall mm -hmm. um, as a base and then I kind of have these creative ideas that I can kind of go around um, right. that um, and then I kind of have the lighting complement where I have LED in mm -hmm. those creative aspects. So how do you design it? Like, do you design it in software? Yeah, or? so I use Vectorworks as my CAD program to design, and then I'll pull that um, into Vision um, to do some like renders mm -hmm. or previs. Right. Um, so. And I think a lot of people ask, but these graphics here uh, that you've seen rotating behind us, um, our creative department for the church actually creates those. And then um, our production department actually creates all the worship content. And yes, we try to theme it for Christmas. So all these graphics are very Christmassy mm -hmm. and wintry. And then we will do the same with our uh, motion content for worship as well. We try to make it all one theme. Yeah. Well, if you guys have any more questions, make sure to ask them in the chat below. If you don't know, we live stream every single weekend. so. Hit subscribe and turn on the notifications to get alerted when we go live. And I hope you guys have a great day.